Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the 2022 Thor Rise Model 18M. Let's take a look. Long running board along the side. Nice big awning on top. Two 110 outlets. Moving to the rear. A nice bike rack, rear view camera. Down below we have a 3,500 pound tow hitch, four pin connection. Right below that is the sewer connection, the gray connection and the valve, and the generator. Let's open this up. Nice little storage pockets in each door. There's a nice little garage area. Spray port, light switch, water pump switch, a 12 volt and two 110 outlets. And there's your cassette toilet. Moving to the driver's side, nice LED light, city fill, lockable gravity water fill, Truma exhaust, sewer hose storage, 30 amp connection, cable TV, LP fill with an on off switch, running board for the driver, and this is where you put your gas in. All right, that takes care of the exterior. Let's take a look inside. This is where a roll up and down bug screen would go. So this is what it looks like inside. Let's start with the cockpit area. So this is the basic Ram ProMaster platform. There are foldable mirrors. There's an emergency start switch. Clipboard on the dash to attach some paperwork. This compartment on the passenger side opens up for storage. Nice ledge underneath to store some more items. Plenty of drink holders. There's three down below here. There's one more above and there's one in each door, driver's and passenger's door. Here's a USB port and a 12 volt. Here's another glove box area to store some items. Above there's some more storage. And here are the cockpit features. All right, let's see what else this RV has to offer. Right above the cockpit area is this nice headliner space and it goes back pretty far. It's pretty deep and pretty long. The fire extinguisher is located right in here and it's secured. Moving down below, there's some drawers and they're pretty good size. Okay. So right when you enter the sliding door, there's the kitchen area. 
stainless steel refrigerator. Some shelving in the door. A couple of shelves inside, these nice little bins. Let's check out the freezer. It's pretty deep. I like that this does stay up by itself. It comes with this little ice tray. And the freezer door shuts nicely. There's this nice pull out work surface cutting board area. Lots of counter space. Two burner Dometic cooktop with a cover. The sink is to the right of it. It has a nice cover and it's a good size. Curved faucet. There's a tablet holder on the side of the counter. HDMI, coaxial cable, two 110 outlets, and two USB ports. Up above is the microwave. It's a good size. It's not convection though. To the left of the microwave and over the cooktop is a cabinet and that houses the solar charge controller, coaxial cable, 110 outlet for the microwave, two USB ports, and the inverter switch. Right above the kitchen counter is the Truma hot water and in-cabin heater. Below that is the BM Pro controller. Right above the sink is a window. It doesn't appear to open. There is a nice pull down shade. Lights above the counter space. Moving down to 110 outlets. Master on off switch. And some drawers. There's four drawers, so let's take a look. It's a decent size, so that's the top one. The second one same size as the top. Third one, nice and deep. And the bottom one, a good size. Notice that the AC is a nice low profile and this is the headspace. I am 5'4 and I've got a good amount of space. Opposite the kitchen and sliding door on the driver's side are three cabinets. I'm gonna open them up for you and they all go right through so that's a nice big area two 110 outlets are located inside and an hdmi area below there's a speaker two push lights and another speaker two more usb ports two 110 outlets, nice netting area to stash some items such as your iPad or book, opening window with a screen, pull down shade, and check out all this bench seating for passengers. It's pretty roomy and it does have two seat belts. Now I'm going to show you how this converts into a bed. Okay, so first you remove these wedge cushions. Then you have to unlatch down here and there's a little handle, as you can see, and you pull this out. Then you take the cushion and push it on down. Same for this side unlatch, use the handle, pull it out, put the cushion on in. Now these cushions can be used to wedge in between the cushion and the wall area for added comfort. And this is what the bed surface area is like. It's not too big, but it's a decent size.
Enough room for two people. Okay, let's put it back. We'll remove these. Pull up this cushion, this cushion. Let's push this back in. There you go. It wasn't too bad. It's a little bit of work, but once you know exactly what to do, I think it won't be that hard. Right beside the bench seating slash bedding area is some storage cabinets. Here's what the top one looks like. There are adjustable shelves in here, nice and long. Moving down, there's a, a drawer. It's a pretty deep drawer another drawer below it same size as the top one and moving down there's a little storage cubby area let's check out the bathroom so the bathroom door is strapped into place like so hmm. okay so you get some nice privacy. This is actually a pretty big bathroom. Let's check it out. So this is the wardrobe. There's a hanging rod. It is not removable. There's no shelves in here, but it's a nice big space. Down below is a big drawer. Lots of storage in there. And another one just like it right underneath. Cassette toilet. And let's check out this vanity. It's a big vanity area and there's a shelf. Nice shower head with a start stop switch and lots of adjustment settings. Shower curtain. Towel bar. pull down sink. This is a pretty big sink. And there's the faucet, the drains down in there. Light switch and your fan switch. All right, so that just about wraps it up for this Rise 18M. It's nice and compact. It's got everything you could possibly need and it's got that great big bathroom in it. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour today please subscribe to my channel and join me for some more videos. Bye for now.